Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, I'm sitting here in the ham shack, as you can see, but today's episode is going to actually be about amateur astronomy. So, all my subscribers that uh, have been wanting another amateur astronomy video, here it goes. And this one's going to be really basic for someone who is interested in getting into amateur astronomy, doesn't know where to start, and hopefully this will help you a little bit. You know, I get calls almost every week from uh, either relatives or uh, folks in the Texas Astronomical Society or wherever, and they have a young child and they want to get that child a telescope. And I have a specific recommendation for a child. So what I'm planning to show you today, I would not recommend for a child under about the age of 12 or 13, okay? What I'm going to show you in a minute. There's a reason for it, and I'll tell you what it is. Uh, as far as a recommendation for a telescope uh, for, say, a 9 or 10-year-old, I'll put a couple of links down in the uh, comments uh, for some tabletop reflectors on a small, what we call, Dobsonian mount. They're not very expensive. Uh, 120 bucks tops. You can find some uh, lower cost than that, but uh, uh, I'll put those links in the bottom. What I'm planning to show you, though, is this thing, which you probably uh, know what it is already. If you have a young teenager and 12, 13 years old, or uh, if you yourself want to get in the hobby, this is what you need to go out and buy first. You need to go out and buy a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars, 10 by 50. That's kind of the standard size. Let me explain that to you. What do those numbers mean? 10 by 50. This, the optics in here are 50 millimeter wide. So if I said this pair of binoculars was 10 by 80 or 20 by 80, it would, the 80 would mean these are 80 millimeters across, okay? Obviously, the larger the optics, the better the resolution and the light capture. But when you get into those big sizes, you really can't hand hold them anymore. They're uh, too heavy. Um, you can't hold them steady. You're going to need a mount for them. So kind of erase that out of your mind. What you need to buy first is just a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars, 10 by 50. The 10 stands for the magnification, 10 power, 10 power, 10 power by 50 millimeter optics, 10 by 50s. So go out there and get you a pair of binoculars. Now I know what you're going to say next. And then what I, what do I do? Well, you got to go to Amazon or to a bookstore somewhere and you got to find yourself Sky and Telescope Binocular Highlights. Sky and Telescope Binocular Highlights. Okay? Really good book for the beginner amateur astronomer that's trying to find out what's in the night sky. One of the things I really like about it is this little fold out map. And again, I don't know if you can see it as well as I can, but uh, there's some little red circles on there with objects uh, designated where they are in the night sky. One of them is for winter months and the other one is for summer months. And then uh, it's got very good write-ups on how to set up binoculars, how to set up big binoculars. Not just these uh, handheld ones, but bigger binoculars. And it gives you directions to objects in the night sky so you can find them with the binoculars. Uh, it kind of goes along with this, you know, anytime you bring a telescope out or 
binoculars or whatever, uh, the first thing most people ask is, what are we going to see tonight? What are we going to see tonight? We're totally dependent on where you are. How dark is the night sky? Uh, are you in a light polluted central city? Tell you right now, you need to get out to the suburbs at least, or as far away from city lights as you can manage, <clears throat> and your views will be a lot better. So, you know, if you're in the center of Dallas, Texas, you're going to have a problem with whatever kind of optics you buy. Uh, lots of light pollution. It basically washes out the night sky and uh, the color of the sky is the color of the objects that you're going to see. So, you know, one fades into the other. Anyway, uh, first thing you got to do, get you some binoculars, then get you this book, Sky and Telescope, Binocular Highlights. Then you want to go online and you want to go to skymaps.com. That's maps with an S. Multiple maps, <laughs> I guess you could say. Skymaps.com. Again, I'll put you a link on there. And every month they come out with a little star chart that you can download for free and print like I've done. I've put it in plastic so it won't get wet. Okay. What's neat about it is on the back, uh, there's different objects uh, denoted here. Some naked eye, some with binoculars, and some visible with a telescope. So you can also look at this chart, and all these objects here are shown somewhere on this map. They're indicated, so you can kind of search them out with a pair of binoculars. If you just stick with the binocular objects on this uh, skymaps.com star chart that you download for free off the internet, okay? Now, uh, the other thing I always use, that's really all you need for binocular viewing. I've already finished the video. So if, if this is, if all you're going to do is get some binoculars, go get a pair, buy this book, download this chart, you're finished. Okay? But later, later, you might buy yourself a telescope. In that case, you need to download the free software rtgui.com. rtgui.com. That stands for Real Time uh, <clears throat> User Interface. All right. Real Time GUI. All right. Real Time. GUI. That's what it stands for. And uh, what this does, what the, this little program does, it's free. You install it on your machine. It runs in Windows 10. So been around for a while. Runs in Windows 10. No problem. I'm not sure if there are other uh, versions like Linux or for the Mac. Anyway, I'll put a link in the comments and you can go check it out. Anyway, once you've got it installed on the machine, you can print yourself out an observing list, okay? Very helpful, all right? Because you can look at this list, and you know, you know it's going to come with about 50 different objects. You don't have to look at all 50. The first few are going to be the most prominent in the sky, and everything on this list is magnitude 10 or brighter. Magnitude 10 or brighter. So with a telescope from a reasonable observing site in the suburbs, you can probably see every object on this list with a telescope if you can find it. All right. So go to rtgui.com, download the software. You can read about it there. It's pretty neat. Uh, 
and learn how to use it. And uh, I do have a video somewhere where I kind of showed a demo of how to use it. It's in the astronomy videos already, so you can just look in there for uh, RTGUI and watch that video. But uh, I bring one of these out to the field every time I bring a telescope out, okay? And the neat thing is you can print out a list for any time or date. So if I'm going out into the field next Saturday, and I'm going to be out there at sunset, and sun, let's just say sunset is, is at 8 p.m., I'll probably print this chart out for 9 p.m., okay? And uh, on that date, I'll select the date and the time, and then it'll give me a chart for the objects that are above the horizon uh, as of that date and time, okay? So RTGUI. Once you've got that, <clears throat> you basically got all the observing observing age uh, that you need. So let's recap real fast. Get a pair of 10 by 50 binoculars. Go to Amazon or somewhere and get yourself a copy of Sky and Telescope Binocular Highlights. And download skymaps.com. That's where it is. Skymaps.com. And click the little sky map when the page comes up and it'll take you to the page where this is. Okay, all you got to do is click the little map that you'll see on the home page. And print off this for whatever month you're in and uh, put it in some plastic and you're ready to go. With that said, I wish you clear skies and 73. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Oh, yeah, it's up there. It's up there in the daytime, too, but can't see it. Y'all be good. More videos to come. Subscribe. See y'all later.